Welcome back to This Bites For You. Whether you're still rocking an old mechanical drive, spinning, 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 five minutes later you're in Windows, or maybe you've upgraded to a faster SSD, or maybe you want to upgrade to an M.2 SSD, at This Bites For You, we got you covered any way you can think of. In this video, I'm going to go over an unboxing and an overview of the Sobrant Rocket NVMe 4.0 2 terabyte high performance M.2 SSD and right along with it, just in case you need it, the Rocket NVMe heatsink. You can buy them separate or you can buy them together one way or another. If you're running on PCIe 4.0, you're going to need this. If you're running on 3.0, probably not. You only need this. But this is going to be part of a much larger project where I'm going to be building a computer from the ground up and I'm taking you with me. I'm going to show you how to install this in another video separately on its own, but also part of the bigger build video. So come over here real quick. Let me show you what's inside and I'll talk you through it as we're going through it. All right. So starting off with the drive itself, you can see here, simple packaging. It's really, really tiny. And then on the back, there's nothing major on here. This was also provided to me by Sovereign. All right. And we'll go ahead, just open her up real quick. This is an NVMe 1.3 compliant drive. Oh, wow. All right, I am impressed. So it comes in a gold kind of tin. This is kind of nice. I didn't honestly didn't expect this. So you can see Sovereign shows the drive itself and then two terabytes. Rocket NVMe high performance PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSD. Serial number and UPC, all that good stuff. And look at that, that's nice. All right, let me put this down just for right now. Okay, here we go over a installation guide. Don't worry, I'm going to show you this as well, but this goes over the basics, how to install the heatsink and all that good stuff. By the way, this also does come with a Cronus True Image. That way, if you wanted to clone over your previous drive onto this, your previous OS install, you could, though I always recommend a clean install of Windows. But anyway, aside from this, again, this is a PCIe 4.0 by 4 interface M.2 drive on a 2280 form factor SSD. Okay, and this is just some foam over it. Unlock the speed. I wonder if this does anything. Or it's just, just to pull it out. All right. So here is the drive itself with its gold cover. This supports SMART and trim commands. This also supports ONFI 2.3, 3.0, 3.2, 3 and 4.0 interface for higher transfer rates and smaller footprints. A lot more information on that, but I don't want to bore you too much with that part. All right. And again, this is an NVMe drive 1.3. This does include advanced wear leveling, bad block management, ECC, and over provisioning. The cool thing, it also does include an upgradable firmware so when they come out with a new firmware revision they can update you provide this provides speeds up to 5,000 megabytes per second read that's megabytes not megabits 5,000 megabytes per second read and 4,400 megabytes per second write under PCIe 4.0. This is backwards compatible with PCIe 3.0 and will provide speeds of up to 3,400 megabytes per second read and 2,750 megabytes per second write. This heatsink, again, is required to dissipate heat generated by the drive's extreme speed levels to avoid thermal throttling and maximizing performance. You don't have to buy this, but you can. So let me go ahead and open that up for you. All right. Opening this up and putting this back just to slide it over for now. Rocket NVMe heatsink. Basic documentation on how to install it. 
and some foam over it. Oh, look at that. They really do a good job with their packaging. <laughs> Gotta give them that. You need to have baby micro fingers to get in there though. There we go. Look at that. That's a big old heat sink. So just to show you with the SSD, look at that. So some of you might be wondering, is this going to fit under my video card? No, without even testing, without even anything. Chances are this won't fit. I will test it and I will show you in the build video, but I'm probably thinking it won't. But anyway, <laughs> look at that. That is nice. And it, it is kind of heavy too. And then just, just wanted to see if that, how much noise that would make. There's something under here. And then right over here, the little screwdriver to be able to install it. I got to take out the whole package. There we go. Just, okay. So this will hold that heat sink in place. It looks like, and I will get more into that in the video. So don't worry too much about that right now. And then this little guy, they really do go all out. Oh my God. And I just realized. Okay, then here's the screw. And this is what I just realized. They include the M.2 screws in the package. I've never seen that before. That's pretty awesome. Even if you don't have a PCIe 4.0 compatible motherboard or processor, you're still able to utilize this, but you're not able to get the PCIe 4.0 speeds that are pretty amazing. So. I've made a huge mess here real quick. <laughs> All right, now that we've got the unboxing out of the way, I'm going to show you how to install the heatsink onto it. So first off, we're going to go ahead and pull this film off of this thermal pad right over here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the drive. You're going to notice right over here, there's going to be a little lip. And that's where you're going to be sliding this right to and just laying it down and just push it down okay and then you'll notice that gives you plenty of room to install it into the m.2 socket and just lay it down flat so now i'm just going to put this down for right now now we grab the heat sink we'll do the same thing we'll take this off Okay, that's going to expose this over here. Okay, and now that we have that there, we're going to go ahead and I'll slide this in and align it with these four screw holes right there on both sides. Now we're going to be utilizing the screws that it brings right over here. So these four screws are for the heatsink on the drive, and this one is for attaching it to your motherboard. Let me just go ahead and pull these out now. And going to need that little screw driver it brings, not just pull it out like I did. I'm really impressed that they included an M.2. Most drives do not include an M.2 screw. Not all of these are gonna come out as easy. All right, and then just place it at the tip, just the tip. And then we'll go ahead and slide that in and screw that in. So we'll just do that on all four sides or all four screws. All right, now you have a massive M.2 SSD. This thing is huge. Then you can also place the other thermal pad onto the motherboard between here and the motherboard to keep it extra nice and cool. And that way 
just in case you don't short anything out. But all right, again, this is Iggy showing an unboxing and how to assemble the Sabrent Rocket MVME 4.0 2 terabyte high performance M.2 SSD and the Rocket MVME heatsink. More coming soon. Stay tuned. Iggy out. See you guys.